All right, Mark Coburn with you again for another short video. Uh, today I am going to take you to a different scenario. Uh, there's a lot of starving people out in the world, you know, and they shouldn't be. It's just a lack of knowledge. Uh, there's all kinds of things around here that we could eat just in our own yard. Uh, I am out back here, and this is one plant that I am talking about, and it's right here, and it's just sprouts, and that's the best type to time to get them because that's when they're the freshest. Um, if you if you outdoors people know what this is, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's it's right there. Uh, most people hate to be around them. This is what we call metal. If you touch it, it stings you. Uh, it's got jagged, sharp little pricks on it. And it's full of little poison. Well, it's not poison. It just makes you itch. Uh, when handling this stuff, you definitely want to use a glove. But once you get it into the water... All the stinging goes out of it. There's no stinging in it. Uh, what we like to do, we like to, to crop it, take it down, and we put it in dehydrators and dehydrate it. And we keep it and use it throughout the year. Uh, we're, we ran out throughout the winter, so we got brand new shoots coming up. So we're starting to gather it now, and we got some in on the stove right now, actually. Uh... I figured I'd come out and do this here, then we'd go in and try it. Um, when I'm talking about plants, I'm not that smart about it. Uh, I use a book. It's free food and medicine. Uh, it's what every doctor don't want you to know. Because if the people knew about what what we call weeds how it would help us they're full of medicine all kinds of stuff uh, I've got the book here and I just want to read some of the stuff that it is good for uh, I'm going to set you down here and I'm going to read you a few, little bit of it Stinging nettles, one of the world's super plants. They even call it a super plant. The whole plant is edible. You can live off the stuff. It's got jagged pointy leaves. It pairs opposite of each other. So if you got jagged on this side where the jag comes down, the jag comes out on the other side is what that's saying. It's the jags on the leaf is opposite of each other to be able to tell how, what they are. Uh, let me put my glasses down here. Um, they grow up the stem, vertical, with clumps of little seeds in between the layers called stinging nettles because one side of the leaf has little hairs that sting when touched but the sting is not bad in fact it is injected it it is injecting us with good healing medicine usually a combination of formic acid Oh, there's all types of stuff in here that I can't even pronounce. Uh, you can roll up the leaf with the hairs on the inside and eat it. Your saliva neutralizes the sting. So when you put it in your mouth, the saliva in your mouth kills that sting instantly. So it's not stinging you. But when you roll it up, you roll it up with the pointy uh, stinging nettles or needles to the inside and then as you eat it 
the saliva in your mouth kills kills it on contact, so it does not sting you. Uh, one of the richest sources of protein and minerals, especially calcium, iron, silica, vitamin C, which improves calcium and nutrient absorptions. I probably said that right. Improves immune functions, prevents free radical damage, and building of collagen collagen. Vitamin K and nettles strengthens your bones, removes lac, lactic acid, and uric acids and gout. So it helps cure the gout. It supports the growth, the growth of beneficial Oh, intensio, <laughs> I can't, I can't pronounce that, I'm sorry, uh, great for revealing, relieving mu mucus in your colon, uh, it's an anti-inflammatory, it reduces prostate inflammation, Excellent source of nutrients. Uh, lowers blood sugar. Increases insulin in your body. So instead of taking an insulin shot, have some nettle tea. It's the same thing. <laughs> this is what they don't want you to know. A complex, B complex. C and D calcium uh, is high in copper, high in iron, source magnesium. Uh, there's all kinds of words in here I don't know how to pronounce. That is good for. It's good for antidepressant. Imagine that. Uh, antifungal. Helps dissolve kidney stones. So if you got kidney stones, there you go. If you got issues with your kidney stones, and I imagine it's your gallbladder too, because they're about the same. Uh, thyroid, there you go. Good for thyroids. Strengthens tissue. If you're losing your hair, here's a good one because I am obviously losing my hair uh, if you take the stinging nettle with the stinger out and rub it on your bald spot the stinging injection into your scalp it stimulates hair growth ah stimulates hair growth so, those people that are going bald, if you want to grow your hair back and don't want to go for to that hair man college thing to get your hair done, rub some nettles on your head. It may itch, but it's free. Free medicine. But that's just a few things that I wanted to touch on on nettles. Uh, if you are interested, you get online and check out the nettles, or I'd, pers I'd say get yourself a book. Because if electricity ever goes out, you lost that, that source of free food, free medicine. This is what the people don't want you to know. This is what the government, the medical community, don't want you to know. Free food, free medicine. No one should go hungry. No, no one should be sick. And it's 500 pages of good reading, good knowledge. I suggest it. Well... With that said, I want to end this uh, short little video on nettles. So, we're going to go ahead and try it. Right. Peace. Okay, the, the nettles is done steeping. So, what we're going to do, we're going to...
I'm going to take it off, and it kind of looks like, what would you call that? Seaweed. That's what it kind of looks like. But we put it in a strainer and strain it all out. Strain it all out, and this got a light, uh, light green tint to it. But what we're gonna do, we will take our cups, and we've got honey that come from a friend of mine, and we will put a teaspoon of honey right in with it too. Yes, and we love honey. Honey is also excellent for you. I'll let my wife do this for me. While I videotape. We use honey in our sugar, or in our, our coffee. In our tea, we use it all the time. Okay. All right, here we go. Pretty good stuff, though. Don't taste bad at all. It's got like a a tea taste. It tastes like tea. <laughs> That's why they call it Nell Tea, I guess. But this stuff's really good for you guys. And don't be afraid to try it. Uh, just remember, use gloves. Unless you're eating it, you want to roll it up from the... You want to put those spiny little points on the inside. Uh, then your Sligo will kill the sting. Uh, but I prefer trying it like this. It's really good for you. And use honey, don't use sugar. I mean, you're putting good stuff in you. By drinking the nettle tea, don't ruin it by throwing man-made sugar in it, because it's just no good for you. Use some honey. Uh, this is Mark Coburn with the Best of Both Worlds 3. I thank you for joining me in another short video. Peace.